What's up guys for our commentator and today I'm bringing you guys a preview discussion on Naruto Shippuden episode 286 and looks like this will in fact be a preview but I'm not complaining. Uh, previews are somewhat good. They kind of define what's happened in the earlier times and why a certain char character thinks a certain way and it just kind of really helps you define who a character is, kind of builds up their uh, personal interests and basically just builds up their character development. Although it may be sometimes see, be seen as a nuisance, it, it's somewhat good. So. I personally will enjoy this peer discussion um, doing it anyways. And the beginning of this, uh, we see a question from the Raikage himself, and he basically is asking Tsunade, when's the first time you've, you've decided to give faith in Naruto? Because we all know that Naruto, when they first met Tsunade, I believe in like a village somewhere, not too sure exactly when and where, but um, she was gambling and whatnot. She, she kind of seemed as if like she really didn't care. She was more like a yellowist and... For me, a yellowist is basically somebody who just does things very, um, I don't want to say fraudulently, but I'm not sure what the word means exactly. But, um, someone who just does something just for, I don't know, they just want to be lazy and just do it just because it's fun and it's the only thing they do in their life. So, that's to me, that's how I would define Tsunade's earlier form, not her Hokage form, you know? So, when she decided to take faith in somebody, uh, I'm not too sure if she had any kind of anybody to uh, look up to in her life. I'm not sure if she, I would say she looks up to Naruto, but when she was protecting Naruto against Kabuto, I think that's when she gained faith in Naruto. That this guy, he was who he said he was. He thought he was going to be the guy to make peace. And that's when I thought that Naruto was going to be, not, not I won't say Tsunade's um, person of um, faith, but that's when I think... That's why I think when Tsunade thought she could put more hope into Naruto or decide that Naruto was a good person to um, hold hold on to. Like, like she knew that he had some kind of potential in him. That, that's one. Because, I mean, Naruto, for the sake of a grown lady, I'm, I'm not too sure if she could protect, him, protect herself against Kabuto, but he took a kunai to the hand, and that junk looked like it freaking hurt. <laughs> that looked like it hurt. But, um... For the most part, that's what I see from here, from the first beginning. And the second part, I can't really tell anything about it. it they're just, um, I guess, prolonging the question. And uh, she explains that it's before the whole fight um, between the Raikage and the Raikage's brother. Actually, I want to put that in quotations, brother. And um, I think, yeah, yeah, that's what he basically said. Before before they were fighting then, um, she put hope into Naruto, and I just explained when I thought... Yeah, she gave hope into it. it was basically when Naruto was fighting Kabuto and uh, Tsunade was on the ground and whatnot. And after we see a we see a little picture of Dan. And for for those who don't know, Dan is basically Tsunade's lover. And Tsunade had blood on her hands. She had blood on her hands. And I was like, hold up, hold up. We have an Kakashi situation here. She killed the person he loves. I mean. For those of you who don't know, this is, I'm saying spoiler right now. Spoiler alert. Spoiler, okay? I said it, so don't get mad at me. Spoiler alert. Tsunade's lover, alright? Tsunade's lover was Dan. And this was Dan, alright? So, if Tsunade's in front of Dan with bloody hands, that makes you come to the conclusion that, hey, maybe Tsunade could have killed Dan. I don't know. I'm not too sure because in the manga, Dan did in fact help Tsunade. So, I don't think it was his fault. So, like I said, that was a spoiler. So, I don't think, I don't think Tsunade killed Dan because then, to me, that would be like, that would be like someone killing you and be like, oh, yay, you finally killed me, you know? It's not something happy. So, I do think that, um, I don't think that she killed him, but maybe, uh, she was trying to help him somehow. I'm not sure how exactly, but I don't think she killed him. So, that's the one thing I'm really getting from this. And it says things you can't get back, so I'm guessing this has to revolve more around, um, Tsunade and her relationship with Dan. I think we're gonna see some of a flashback, not a flashback, but um, yeah, it's basically a flashback. It means filler. So it, it seems somewhere around there. somewhere around there, we're gonna see a little more about Dan and his position with with uh, Tsunade. And um, it looks like it's gonna be you know just another another regular old filler. But um, who knows? Maybe we'll see in a nice little uh, I guess preview after this one or one after that or whenever. Kishimo decided to not stop making fillers, but I, I wonder how, what the filler ratio is to the actual episodes ratio, you know? Because to me, it kind of feels as if there are a lot of fillers, like there are a lot of fillers, 
that um I guess if you were to add up it'd be the equivalent actually not even equivalent it's somewhere around give or take equivalent equates to the same exact amount of actual episodes I'm not sure how much exactly maybe I'll count them up on board or something I don't know but um I don't know. it looks like uh, it's gonna be revolving around Dan and um her possibly love life against with Dan but um to me it kind of feels as if Dan was uh trying to protect protect Tsunade on share because Dan in the manga has a pretty powerful um techniques and whatnot. He can use the shadow thing, the shadow spirit, I'm not sure what it's called. And I know it's not called shadow spirit, so don't 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 say, Oh, you're so ignorant. I, I don't have time to look it up. So in a sense I am ignorant, but I don't have time to look it up. But anyways what it does, basically Dan can get out of his this is another spoiler by the way, I think is how it goes. Dan can get out of his body and go mess some people up without having his body destroyed and basically he can become like a like a ghost if you want to say and just punch people up and they can't touch him. So basically he's like in this transcendent awesome form where no one can touch him. So basically he's in God mode. For anyone who who plays Model for two, he's basically in God mode. Alright, you can kill people but they can't kill you. So it's it's kinda like the ultimate troll in a sense. But um I don't know. I, I think that's how I think that's what it is. But uh, I didn't really go check out uh, his abilities. I didn't really look it up in the manga. So I think that's how it goes. But um, yeah, hope you guys like this pre-discussion. Peace out and have a nice day.